All right, so uh, good night, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, let's see who's in, in this meeting already. Miss Elizabeth Gonzalez. So how are you? I'm you know, fine. good to see you. Good to Thank see you. you right there. Thank you. Good evening, uh, it is. All right, Nick. nine o'clock. All right, you know, you know, this hour, this hour is difficult. Esta hora es difícil, pero es dura, ¿verdad? <laughs> sí, yo entiendo. So, how are you doing, Felipe? Great, nice. Good to see you over here. Thank you for that. So, tonight, uh, we're going to start with, uh, let's say, a quiz. No es una evaluación en sí, ¿verdad? No es un, algo evaluado ni nada. But it's going to make you think, all right? And maybe you, you are going to get frustrated or something like that. So uh, good evening, Mr. Magaña. David. Good right. evening, teacher. Yeah, how's Goliath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, kidding, sir. Nice. He's dead, right? All right. Um, he, you know, he's in a better place now, you know? All right. So, good evening, Ingri. Six participants already. All right. So, I was telling, you know, everyone right now uh, that. Uh, just a teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, yesterday and during on weekend, I was sick because oh. I, I, I can't take the class. Okay. Uh, you know, the class is basically just uh, practice. So if you, if you join the class every single uh, night, you're gonna have the chance to practice and pretty much the same thing. Así que you didn't lose, o sea, si se perdió verdad la práctica, pero you didn't lose, I would say too much things, okay, too many things. You know, better said. But you're, you're better now, Mr. David Magaña? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, but, but no, no, uh, no, no coronavirus. Uh, yeah, thank God, right? Yeah. Just a regular, that, regular flu. Yes, that. Uh, Come the me. doctor, the doctor uh, is uh, when check check me mm -hmm. feels feels he that but not coronavirus. Uh, um, I don't know how to say in in English uh, hippo. Hiccups, you say hiccups, hiccups. Hiccups, okay. Yeah, that, that's how you say, you say hiccups over there. Okay, and, and bronchitis, that's what I mean. All right, so you were, your lungs, okay, nice. Uh -huh. But it was not coronavirus, but you were scared, it was coronavirus? No. No, not really, okay. So today we're going to start with a short quiz, which you have to complete individually, okay? So you have to complete the next quiz individually. I'm going to send this to you to the uh, personal chat, okay? So I'm looking for the chat right now, and that's the one, all right? So it's been, it's been sent over there. So le let me just ask uh, someone in this uh, meeting right now. Let's see, Mirna, uh, can you see, I mean, can you check please your WhatsApp right now? Check your uh, personal chat right now. Can you see the link over there? I mean, can you see the material in there? I just uh, shared with you the access information there. Yes? Yeah, teacher. Thank you. So look at my screen very quickly here. All right. So let's see how many participants I have here. I have 10 students in here. So this, 
uh, Tin is going to ask you the following, everyone. Let me just one second come in here. Let me just stop sharing this. And uh, one second, here we go. All right. Refresh. All right, give me just one minute. You know, I, I'm supposed to share the screen with you, which uh, I'm doing right now, but my internet is a little bit slow. So bear with me just one moment. And uh, there we go. All right, so this is the quiz. Okay, very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what you have to do. All right. So basically, this quiz has five questions. First of all, you have to enter your email. So in this case, you know, this is my personal e email. And this is about the simple pass. So you see here, like in, in the first part, it's the question, but it's an empty space, you know, it's in blind. And there over here in the response or the answer, you have the verb missing. So the question and the verb are missing. The only hint or the only clue that you have what I just gave you is the complement. For example, in here is the time, which is eight o'clock this morning. On number two, you know, the same thing, you have to look for the correct question, yes, no question, and then the verb that matches this expression, you know, transportation, but the train. These are the verbs, okay, but only five out of this. Okay, and then the next one is high school in 1990. So you have the question missing over there. And so, but, no se van a inventar nada. Ustedes no van a inventar. Las opciones aquí están. So everything is over here. You just click on this arrow. Le dan aquí en esta flechita, ¿verdad? And then you have a drop-down menu. El, el, el menú des, desplegable, okay? And then you start looking at this. That's what I, I told you. This can give you a headache. And let me ask you. Would you like to do this individually or in purse? If you tell me individually, no hago los grupos, you know, los break rooms. If you tell me in purse, I'm going to split you up in the break rooms. No necesariamente si está en el, en el, en el, en el uh, room, ¿verdad? Con su compañero, van a copiar o van a decirse la respuesta. Por lo menos se pueden apoyar. So, but I need you to, to tell me, you know, what do you prefer? But bottom line, o sea, lo que sí, van a hacer esta práctica de este quiz. Lo que van a hacer es, van a encontrar la pregunta y la respuesta, ¿verdad? Que esté acorde a este enunciado. Okay? Any questions, uh, everyone, about this? <clears throat> No, any question. So we're good. All right. Are we good? Yes. So, all right. So we're good over here. All right. So, uh, so basically, just try to uh, find out the correct question and then the response that matches the same idea right there. So I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms. I think uh, you're going to be working in purse. So you don't have to share your answers necessarily, okay? So it's not better. Solo voy a poner ahí para que después discutan, ¿verdad? But I think it's better, you know, if you take the quiz individually and then, you know, check, okay? ¿Cuál, pu cuál puso en la primera? Okay, yo puse tal, y puse tal, okay? But try to do it in English, please. All right? Okay, teacher. All right, so this is supposed to be a, like a discussion and a review. Right, remember, yes, no questions in simple statements in the past. And there we go. Open all rooms. So, Angel, you're working with Yvette, Felipe with Mirna, uh, Iris with Jose, uh, Elizabeth with Raquel, and Ingrid with David. All right, so go ahead, please. You know, do it individually first and then with your classmates. I don't work. I I I am sick. I am um, incapacitated. 
Uh, Yvette. Yes. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. You said that you're you're, yeah. you're sick, right? You you, you said you're sick, right? Yeah. Is that I, the case? I, or... I... Uh, you're you're sick. You said right. Yes, I am sick. Yeah. So. The uh, world. <laughs> No, but, uh, you know, thank you, you know, for being here. You know, a pesar de que esté enferma, está por acá. Este, no se le escucha. Se, se como que se muteó. Un minuto. Ahí está. Here. Yeah, there we go. Now, let me just send something to you over here. Usted dijo incapacitada, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, uh, so, incapacitada actually does not exist in English. We have a, we use a different term. Utilizamos algo parecido. So we use, I am. I am. I'm sending this to you. Okay, le estoy mandando como se dice. Um, okay. Or, I have a medical. I leave. am in a medical. Leave. 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 Si usted, digamos, se va a los cuatro, a los cuatro meses. Cuando, you know, you had a mom and you gave birth, you know, to a baby boy or a baby girl, all right? Mm -hmm. You know, by law, the government gives you, let's say, a four month, it's not vacation period, but it's four months out of work, right? If you had a mother. In mm -hmm. that case, it's a, it's, a, it's a maternity leave. Son los cuatro meses que le da de maternidad. You say maternity leave. Si usted está incapacitada, mm -hmm. va a decir... You know, I have a medical leave, or I'm in a, in a medical leave, okay? Okay. All right, because you left, you know, the job to be at home, you know, that's the logic of it, all right? Okay. Nice. But now let's try to, let's try to complete the quiz uh, that I shared with you. Uh, okay. Do you have any doubts, any questions, you know, that you want me to help you with? Um. Okay, the first, the first one question is, oops. the first question is, did you go to high school in 1990? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I went to high school in 1990. Okay. The answer is the second. The second, right? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Nice. I'm glad you, you got this. Yes, the first one, it's not correct because it says uh, I went to high school in 1996. And the third one is incorrect because it's using did you went. And that's incorrect. We never say, did you went, did you had, did you did, all right? So we use the verb in the simple form, okay? In its base form. Okay. So that's the mistake. That's why, you know, you said this is the correct. So you choose that one and yes, and you continue, you know, you do the rest for the next four uh, questions in there, all right? I have wait. Uh, why is the second question? I mean, the the things that your uh, the questions appear in different order. For example, in my case, okay. look, look at my screen. Look at my screen. In, in my case, I have they the train. The question about the train. Okay. All right. Um, the second is, did he? Did he eat an apple today? Ah, about the apple, okay. And for me, that's the last one, okay. <laughs> okay, so what is it the first, second, or third option for you? Okay. Is the second option? Yeah, it, same thing, right? Yes, he did. He ate an apple today. All right, yeah, simple like that. Nice, nice. All right, so the last one, it's incorrect because you're, you're saying 
uh, he eats an apple today, you know, it's in present. And then you say that he ate the first one. Nice, nice. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave this breaker room and join another one in here. There we go. Okay. All right, so uh, Felipe, uh, did you finish with the quiz already or are you still working? Yes, I finished. You finished already, okay. So try to help Mirna, please. So try to help Mirna in here. So Mirna, are you still here? Yes, teacher. All right. Um, uh -huh. Is me um, salió mala una. But only one. Did they travel? Uh, be try or? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Que la tengo abierta aquí. Okay. So look at my uh -huh. screen. I'm sharing. I'm sharing this with you. Okay. Sí. Yes. All right, so, um, vaya, dígame, Mirna, por qué, cuál es la correcta para usted? Which one is the correct one for you? The first, second, or third one? Is, um, did, uh, first, the, second, or third? Uh, first. Did they travel by train or on their last vacation? No, they didn't. They travel by train. Bye. Grammatically speaking, it's okay. Yes. Gramaticalmente, gramaticalmente está bien. Pero esto tiene que tener congruencia con el... Ah, medio sí, que está en el pasado. Uh -huh. No, o sea, me, gramaticalmente uh -huh. estamos bien. Uh -huh. All right? But uh -huh. what we need to find out or look for is train. Si dice plane, it's incorrect. Just like that. Okay. So, sin, 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 sin complicarnos la existencia, so, ¿verdad? Usted puede asociar esto y dice, okay, aquí tiene que, tengo que buscar train, and this one says plane, and this one says uh, plane too. All right, so then the last one should be the correct one. Did they okay. travel on the last vacation? Yes, they did. They, they, okay, it's correct. Pero si lo vamos como deeper, ¿verdad? Si más profundo, un, un análisis un, un poquito más profundo va a decir, they did travel by train. Esta, ¿por qué está incorrecta? Sí, no sé si me podría decir la second one. Why is this incorrect? Mirna. Por el... Por el orden de la, pero el orden de la pregunta. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. Exactly. Ajá. Primero va el, el, sujeto, el sujeto y luego va el, 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 el verbo. Ajá. Ajá. Así está mal. Pero una pregunta es... Sí. You write, you write the, the auxiliary, did, and then the subject, hmm? just like that, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and the first one, everything is correct, but the means of transportation, o sea, el medio de, de, de transporte, it's incorrect. That's the reason mm -hmm. why. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Nice. Okay, let me go to a different room. I think we're going to come back to the main session, okay? The letter D is...
All right, so uh, it is, uh, how was the quiz? Was it easy, difficult, uh, a piece of cake? You needed more time or it was okay? It's difficult, bad. And my quiz, my phone quiz, uh, cinco de cinco, five to five. So you got a perfect score. Sí, ahí estuvimos medio. <laughs> estaba, estaba así como que aquí estoy en presente. No, aquí tiene que estar en pasado. Y así mm -hmm. íbamos comparando. Exactly, exactly. So, so some of the, uh, the questions, I, I would say some of the options were incorrect because of the content. Because, for example, if, if the question says something about uh, the train and the, the uh, options you had, uh, plane or something different, it was incorrect. But sometimes that question was incorrect because it, it, the structure was wrong. Remember, when you ask a question, you have to start with the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. You know, that's the way it is, all right? But we're going to stop, you know, talking about the quiz right now, and then it's the time for you to start practicing, okay? Your speaking skills. Tomorrow, all right, tomorrow it's uh, Wednesday, right? So tomorrow, the first thing that we're going to uh, do tomorrow is to review the quiz. And I'm going to give you more details about the quiz. But right now it's 9.25 and I think it's better if, if we start practicing your English, you know, in a speaking way, all right? So that's why, okay, so that's why I'm going to start with this. And let's see, uh, Ingrid, help us over here, please. All right, so Ingrid, are you here? All right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so yeah. do you have any idea what this ex expression means? Bite the bullet. Really now, teacher. Okay, okay. What about now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about now? If you see, if you see this defini definition, make yourself do something difficult or unpleasant. Yes. Unpleasant. Yeah, unpleasant is uh, algo indeseado, o sea, no deseado. Algo que, mm -hmm. que la causa pena. What about now? If I give you this, these uh, synonyms, to try to deal with a problem or difficulty. Now remember this, everyone, that an idiom, an idiom is something informal, okay? It's an expression, you know, like a slang, you know, como caliche, that's what we say. And that's what I'm sharing with you. What about now, Ingrid? If I say to you, deal with, If you were able to associate deal with with by the bullet, what about now? Face. The definition that by the bullet is make yourself do something difficult or unpleasant. All right. Mm -hmm. Another another definition would be to try to deal with a problem right. or difficulty. Is synonymous formales. It could be deal with or face. All right. But let me give you a real example, okay? What about this one? Ingrid, would you like to... Excuse me? Um, como que muerde eh, la no sé qué. La bala. <laughs> Pero... Morder la... La bala. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Now, if you make a translation, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it does not make any sense. Si usted traduce, no va a tener ningún sentido, all right? So you have to use this in the following way. 
For example, you have a, diff a difficult situation. All right, you have a difficult situation. Like for example, if you are a student, you have to take a quiz or you have to take an exam, you have to take a midterm, un parcial, or something like that. All right, and you have to bite the bullet. I have no choice. It means, tiene que agarrar el toro por los cuernos. Okay, that's the meaning of bite the bullet. Literalmente significa, o sea, si usted lo traduce, you know, literally, if you translate this, it means, morder la bala. And I'm not talking about la canción de los hermanos Flores, ¿verdad? So I'm not talking about that, you know. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not los hermanos Flores songs here. Mm -hmm. So bite the bullet means to face, hacerle mm -hmm. frente, you know, hacerle frente o lidiar con, deal with. Deal with a difficult situation. Like, for example, right now, right now, you, you guys, everyone, you are biting the bullet. ¿Por qué? Porque le están haciendo frente a this challenge. No, you are dealing with this challenge. Biting the bullet. Okay? For example, you can say, eh, me tengo que levantar a las seis de la mañana, ¿verdad? A pesar que me cueste noche. Eso es, I bite the bullet because I wake up early, right? All right, so I had a bad day at work, but I have to go home and, you know, uh, ha have a good attitude with my wife or my husband. You can say so. I have to bite the bullet or I bite the bullet. Que tomo el cuero, eh, eh, sorry, eh, el toro por los cueros. Or, una expresión más salvadoreña, ¿verdad? Que nosotros la relacionamos con huevos, ¿verdad? To make eggs. Traducción literal. Ajá. Hacer el huevo. Exacto. Exactly, sí. Exactly. So, this expression, ese, en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? O las personas de habla inglesa, you know, you know uh, English-speaking people, you know, or English-speaking countries, they use a lot of informal language, okay? And that's what I'm sharing with you. Yes. In El Salvador, we, we say hacerle huevos, like you're saying right now, right? Bite the bullet, hacerle frente, okay? So, bite the bullet. That's what we do, because it's something that we don't like, all right? Si usted no quiere decir bite the bullet o se le olvida, at least use deal with or face the situation. You have to face it up, you would say. Deal with. No es que no lo quiero hacer. Deal with it. All right? Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Nice. Yes, I'm, glad teacher. It's, I'm glad it's clear now. So this is a new one, you know? Yes. A new one. Thank you. Now, next ten, uh, I'm I'm gonna share with you is is the following. It's a conversation similar to the one we did yesterday. Okay, so conversation one, two, three, and four. Okay, and I'm going to send to you the material for you to access that. Okay, so allow me just one second over here, and I'm going to ask something to you as a big big favor, please. Try to make this interactive. Miren a sus compañeros. You know, look at the camera. O vuelvan a ver, o miren para arriba, para arriba, or look at the other side, look up, cierren los ojos, cubren la cámara. But try to say this, no like this, ¿verdad? O sea, quitemos la vista del renglón, por favor. Perdón. So, so try to say, so how was the movie, for example? All right? It was really good. All right? Que se note como que usted la está diciendo sin leer. So that's the point over here. So try not to read, please. Remember, these are short phrases, all right? Short phrases. Here we go. I buy. I just shared it with you in the uh, personal chat, but I'm going to send it to you as well in the uh, meeting chat. Aquí le voy, se lo voy a poner en Zoom y también se los puse en el otro chat. Ahí está ya, all right? Pero no comiencen todavía. Please do not start yet. Let me let me share with you what you uh, are supposed to do in here. Pero is everybody on the same page right now? Estamos hasta aquí. Are, are we good right now, everyone? Yes. Nice. So you have the audio. The audio uh, lasts, o sea, dura, lasts less than two minutes. So first of all, listen to this. But I'm going to ask you a big favor. Okay, and, and let me just go back to this screen. And I'm gonna say maybe this 
No, I'm not going to say it in Spanish. You know, I'm going to say this in English because we're supposed to practice our English. As you can see, uh, this page is divided into three parts, the script, the grammar, and the quiz. Do you see that, please, in the material? Can you see that, everyone? The script, all right? The grammar and the, and the uh, quiz. Can you see that? Yes? Okay, so what I want you to do, and let's see, let me ask, uh, let's see, um, uh, a gentleman in here who can help me verify this. All right. Hágame el siguiente favor. Okay, let's see, Jose, Mr. Perez, do me a favor, please, uh, sir. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, sir. Now, uh, try just to listen to the audio in total, you have four conversations. Please don't look at the script. But instead of doing that, try to remember or take notes what the conversations are about. For example, conversation number one maybe is about a school. Conversation number two is about you know going uh, or traveling by plane. Conversation three could be about I don't know a traffic jam or something like that. So in your notebooks, your cell phones, or your mind. You know, take notes, you know, mentally or, you know, in your notebook. Just so conversation one, main idea. It was about this. Conversation two, it was about this. All right. So write the main idea of the conversation. Copy that, sir. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So let's go ahead, please. I'm going to give you. All right. So I'm going to give you. Excuse me. Nothing. All right. Uh, so go ahead, please. You have two minutes. You know, starting now. Listen to the to the four conversations and write the main ideas, please. Okay, teacher, uh, I don't understand very well, but I just know that one conversation is about a guy that was uh, wearing in the movie, was in a movie, in that, mm -hmm. that place was crowded, a crowded place, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people. Yeah. That is a main, a main, the main idea. The, the main idea. One, in conversation two is something about uh, uh, one person asked to another person if he was in the in the shop so uh, mm -hmm. uh, on the shop by yes. something right mm -hmm. behind the shopping by something mm -hmm. and the conversation three something about it to do the test or how was the test <laughs> it was difficult or not right? yeah correct something like that because the last and one was more, more difficult yeah the last one has to do with who was at the party or who was not at the party by yeah. the way, yeah, it, it talks about Tom and Katie, you know, uh, and then he says, so uh, Fulanito, you know, Mr. So and so was at the party, but Tom and Katie were not at the party, but their son was at the party, for example. But yeah, good job, Jose, good job, by the way. Yes, yeah. time is up over here. And uh, let me just go over here. <clears throat> 
So I'm going to, I, I'm not supposed to share the screen with you right now, everyone, but let me ask Noria. Yes. Uh, so Noria, you're muted right now. I cannot hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. Uh, uh, I cannot listen. I'm not able to listen okay. to you. There we go. Huh? There we Hi. go. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, okay. what? What? Okay. What's the first conversation about? What is the place that they were talking about? What is the situation, Maria? Okay. Uh, conversation number. The first one. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. Or is and. Um, is uh, at the school, at the uh, party, about, at the uh, uh, about the movie. At the movie, right? Okay. A scary movie. Okay, so it it was about a scary movie. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's let's see, uh, Yvette. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Yvette. So, what was the second conversation about? The second conversation is it was back working the, the second one uh, was it about uh, about a shop you know uh, at work i would say like in in the workplace it's about a boy you know uh, asking if the girl was at the shop because he went to the shop and she didn't see her over there but the girl uh, tells him that she was there you know working at the back is that the one you were talking about, Yvette? I don't understand it. Excuse me. That, no problem over here. But the main idea of conversation number two is about work, you know, shop, una tienda. You know, that's that's conversation number two. All right? The shop. work in a shop. Yeah, work working at a shop. That's the main in idea. A, last, last night. Yeah something like that but the main idea the first one was at the movie number two is at the shop and let me ask a, a gentleman let's see david conversation number three please sir conversation number three so what's the main idea of, of the third conversation mm -hmm. uh, david and, and yeah thank you uh yvette okay yes okay. sir okay me yes sir Okay. Um, uh, it's it's about the test. Nice. With that, that's okay with me. You know, that's the main idea. So the rest, if you tell me if the test was long, if it was difficult, or it was easy, those are ah, details. The, those the are test. details. That's it. But that's it. The test is. The test is. Yes, but yes. David, you don't have yes. to give me details because right now the practice is just the main ideas. Okay, eso es lo que importa ahorita, verdad? La idea principal. You know, the, the rest comes later. What about the number four? Number four was a little bit more difficult. Raquel, if you have any idea on this one, Raquel, that you would like to help us, or maybe yes, Katia. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, the, the idea is about the party. Nice, nice. And then a uh, detail would be who was and who was not at the party, <laughs> who was invited, yes. maybe. Yes. Was, yes. <laughs> Thank you. This one was a little bit difficult because they mentioned names. They mentioned Tom. They mentioned Katie, right? For example. But let me tell you something. As long as, o sea, por lo menos, ¿verdad? O por, as long as you were able to understand the main ideas, we're good. O sea, mi trabajo está hecho, ¿verdad? Si ustedes entendieron por lo menos two or three, or let's say at least one main idea, you know, ese ganancia. You know, that's that's an advance, okay? Trust me. Se lo digo de corazón. Okay, now let's practice the conversations over there. All right, now look at the script and look at my screen too. Okay, let me just one second over here. Let me stop sharing this screen. Now look at my PowerPoint presentation and let's see Katia, please. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
All right, so Katia, are you here? Yes, teacher. Yeah, thank you so much. So we have conversation one, two, three, and four. Now you're gonna help me here. You're gonna be the, the man, I'll be the woman, okay? <laughs> so no problem here. And let's try to do this conversation very natural, please, okay? Okay. So yeah. you, you'll be the man on conversation number one, so I'll be the woman. Go ahead, please. How was the movie? It was really good. What is scary? What yeah, is scary it was. Uh, was it scary? Okay. Was it scary? Yeah, it was really scary. Nice. Was it is? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what was it crowded? 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 No, it wasn't. Uh, there weren't many people there, surprisingly. All right. Nice. So uh, this is a piece of advice. Please try not to read. You know, look at the screen. You know, cierren la computadora, miren arriba, cierren los ojos, anything like that. As long as, you know, you save everything, you know, out of your memory. Like, so how was the movie? And then you say, it was really, it was really, it was really good. And then you ask, so was it scary? And so on, right? Make the right intonation, please. All right, let's go ahead and practice. I'm going to uh, send you to uh, Purse right now, okay? And so you can practice this conversation with a classmate. Practice two times. Okay, comiencen a practicar, you know, start practicing conversations from one to four. I'm the man, and then my friend is the woman, and then I switch roles. Cambiamos roles, all right? So we're supposed to do this. Uh, hold on, please. And there you go. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, how was the movie? It was really good. What? Uh, what is scary? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sometimes some words together, I can, yeah, I that can happens. Read. Yeah, it's Sorry. too late. You know, we're tired right now. That's why. I don't know why, but sometimes it's hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't worry about. It. Go ahead. Okay. Um, what's it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprising. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Okay. We can change now. All You're right. gonna be the man, and I'm gonna <laughs> be the woman. <laughs> or we can back to the next conversation if you want. So, right. what do you no, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Okay, okay. conversation, to, conversation two. <laughs> 
conversation too. Okay. Where were you last night? I was at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, really? really? I was, <laughs> really? I was at your shop, you weren't there. No, I was in the back working. The coming conversation three. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. You know, I have to bring everybody back to the main station. I need to tell you something. You know, we only have 10 minutes before this class is over. Okay. And I think that you want to keep on practicing with your classmates or may maybe with somebody else. Yes? Yes, yes. or not? Yes. All right. Yes. But as you can see, these conversations, you know, uh, just solo no dan el dulce, you know, they just gives us, you know, a, a little introduction out of this, you know, just some They just give us a sample, no dan una muestra, verdad? No dan el dulce. So what I mean is, for example, on the second conversation, you have a man, maybe it's a couple, you know, it's the boyfriend and the girlfriend, or maybe the wife and the husband or the friend, you know, the crush, okay? And then he goes to the store and he doesn't see uh, his, his friend. I mean, sorry about that. He doesn't see his friend in there. And then the friend told him, I, I was in the back working. Uh, you were? Really, I was there. O sea, no le cree pues que estaba ahí trabajando. O sea, y la fue a vigiar, like we said in Spanish, right? Okay. So my point is, everyone, that, so try to continue with your own script. O sea, démosle seguimiento a, a, la, a las conversaciones. So you practice, like, like for example, uh, let me, uh, let me choose a, a, part, a, a member over here, Elizabeth. Help us on this one, please, Elizabeth. Hi. Miss. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we're gonna practice conversation number four. Okay, we're gonna practice the fourth conversation. I'm going to be the man, okay, this time. <laughs> and then you're gonna be the woman. So, and then we're gonna try to make a conversation out of conversation number four. O sea, vamos a alargar pues el script, verdad, el libreto. All right, so do you know who was at the party, Elizabeth? Um, Jason was there, so was Sook. Were Tom and Katie there? No, no, they weren't there, but their son was. Oh, I see. Uh, so was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. What did you do? Aha, uh -huh. I la pregunta, and then you have to tell me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> But don't answer to me right now. Don't answer to me right now, Elizabeth. That's what you're going to do with your classmate, with, a, with your new classmate, with your new friend, all right? Okay. Like, like, for example, let's go back on conversation number two. This one, I think this is the best one, or maybe the movie. For example, you know, you went to the movie theater and you watched the movie and it was scary. Maybe Annabelle, maybe, I don't know, the, uh, how do you uh, call this? The Conjuring, you know, Conjuring 2. Yes. Etc. And or maybe the the nun, you know, la monja. That's a yeah. scary movie, by the way. That's a very scary movie. Yes. By the way. Yeah. Where maybe it. Okay. But you, you're gonna say. So what's the movie that you watch? Could you tell me something? And then you start telling about that. You know, talking about that. And the next one, un, como una pareja verdad se están peleando mentira no te vi verdad you were not there I don't know you were mm -hmm. with somebody else you were with fulanito right okay tell me please. <laughs> yes. So that's the idea, you know, you start to argue on this one. So my point is, this class is, is about to finish. So let's practice with your classmate for two or three minutes and let's come back to the main session so we can finish the class. Okay. okay? okay. So I'm going to...
I'm going to uh, send you to the breaker rooms again. So let's see, 12 part no, let's see, yeah, 12 participants in here. And uh, go ahead, please. Join the breaker rooms, please. So this time, David is with Mirna, Katia with Noria, Angel with Elizabeth, Ingrid uh, with Jose, it is, sorry, um, yeah, it is with Yvette, Felipe with Raquel, and then Rodrigo is alone in here. But he's gonna practice with me. All right, so hello, sir. Rodrigo. Mr. Rodrigo. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. All right, so let, let's let's uh, practice the conversations over here, please. So let me share the screens with you, okay? Okay. Nice, here we go. Uh, so would you like to be the man or the woman? <laughs> uh-huh. Are you going I to don't be know. Oh. All right. So, all right, so go ahead. You're gonna be the, the man, I'll be the woman, okay? Okay. Just tonight, all right. <laughs> all right, so the idea I hear, uh, sir, is that we're going to add more details to the conversations in there. Okay, so we're gonna uh, give details to this. Go ahead, please. You're the man and the woman. Conversation number one, please. How was the movie? It was really good. Uh huh. Mm. Right? Yeah, continue, please. It was really good. No, no, no. I mean, you're the man and the woman. Usted dice, I was the movie, and I say, I was, it was really good. And then you ask me, was it scary, etc. Oh, yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, so, yes, you're the man. You're the man. You're true. Really... Man. Mm -hmm. Who was the movie? Woman. You... All right. Uh, but usted va a decir solamente, digamos, uh, how was the movie? And luego yo respondo, it was really good. Pero no hay ah, nada. Okay. You don't have to say man or woman. O sea, it doesn't really necessary. O sea, los, los personajes no es necesario decirlo. Yo le puedo no. decir, yo le puedo, usted me puede decir Francisco o José o something like that, right? You can tell me, José, how was the movie? And then I can tell you, uh, it was really good, Rodrigo. O, o solamente le digo, it was really good. Démosle, mm. pues. So, okay, go ahead, please, Rodrigo. So, Who was the movie? It was really good, you know. What's it scary? Yeah, it was really scary. Nice. I was crow with it? No, it wasn't. Uh, there were many people there, surprisingly. And uh, and then you can ask me another question. Me puede preguntar de qué, era la, de qué se trató la película. ¿Cómo me hace esa pregunta? How do you ask that question? What is the... Category or yeah, or you know, it's a scary movie. Maybe what was the movie about? You can say, Take a look. I sent to you this. Can you say it there? Sobre, sobre, uh, de que se trató la película. Uh, so, what was the movie about? All right, usted está haciendo las preguntas. Acuérdese, yo estoy respondiendo. Okay, so what's the question again, please? Over there, Rodrigo. The conversation too? No, no, I mean, recuérdese que lo que estamos haciendo es dándole larga a las conversaciones, a la primera. Oh. Entonces, you, you said, okay, it, it was a scary movie, confused. but then, uh -huh. mm -hmm. A little confused. A exactly. little confusing. That's, it's a little confusing. But the idea is, no, no nos quedemos solamente con lo que dice acá. Usted me está haciendo, pues, es como que usted le pregunta a un chero, ok, yo fui al, al cine, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿qué viste? No, sola, no solamente me dice, o sea, o sea, la película estuvo bien o estuvo mal, usted me, pero ¿qué viste? ¿Qué te gustó? Contámela. Vea que eso es lo que decimos nosotros. Mm -hmm. So, that's the idea over here. So, you're supposed to, you know, ask me. Yeah. So, what was the movie about? 
Okay. If the answer you... is, uh -huh. the answer is I can, I can see the movie. No. No, o sea, si te preguntan de qué se trató la película, usted me dice, uh, mm -hmm. it was a, what's a scary movie or it was, I don't know, about this, y me empieza a decir detalles. Okay. Okay, it was a scary movie. The name was It, it was None, it was The Conjuring, or etc. So you give me details on this one. All right. Uh, but let's do something here, uh, Rodrigo. Uh, let me send you to a, to a, another breaker room so, so you can practice with somebody else in here. Okay? Okay. There we go. Yes, porque estamos hablando del examen. It was, uh -huh. it was really easy. complicated. Ah, de verdad, te costó. Complicated. Yes. Complicated. Ah. <laughs> no, but... Uh, How long was it? Ahí sí, mira, que... Qué... qué tan extenso ajá, estuvo, ajá, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. There... There were about... Two hours. Twenty problems. Ah. <laughs> ah, it was about two hours, you would say. It was about two hours. Ajá. Uh -huh. I okay. was... I was. It was. It was about. Uh, there was about two hours. Let me let me oh. send uh, let me let me send to you. Uh, it, you know how you can ask this. Just like this. Uh, I'm gonna send it to Angel and how long was it? There you go. You know how long was it okay and then uh elizabeth there you go or you can ask was it very long creo que ya hicieron esa pregunta how long was ahí está ya la pregunta de hecho está, how long was it yeah sí. was it very long o está preguntando era bastante extenso was it very long mm -hmm. All right or Oh, was it very long? Oh, es cierto. Oh. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. but, but it's it's in there already. And then you say, yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it was in great, but it was... <laughs> no le quiere decir, ¿verdad? <laughs> no tuvo uh -huh. ni mal ni bien, ¿verdad? So, pro average. It was average. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. and, pero puede preguntar. You can ask this one. Okay. Did, you, did you study for the test? Yeah, what was your score? I, my score, it was uh, three mm -hmm. A, triple A. <laughs> <laughs> Se fue a diferido, you know, makeup exam, a diferido. <laughs> yes. <laughs> makeup exam, you know. Makeup. Nice. Makeup. Okay. Como, como, Make como, 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 eh, Haciendo... maquillaje. como maquillaje. Makeup. Oh, makeup. Make, makeup exam. Diferido. Yeah, it's a makeup. Makeup it's exam. Make it's a makeup exam. You know? Okay. It's a makeup exam. You know, pero es que maquillado eh, el examen. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Está bien. Nice. Está bien. All right. All right, so I'm back, you know, back in business again, okay? Uh, the class is pretty much over, everyone. So I got to say thank you, you know, for joining the class tonight. And I really hope, you know, you learn something new today. That's the idea. Si aprendimos algo, por pequeño grande que sea, you know, for me, that's a big reward. Es una gran ganancia y recompensa, okay? Because right now it's 10 o'clock and you know, it's a difficult hour. We are tired, right? We want to go to sleep. I still have to finish, you know, to upload the videos. But here we are, aquí estamos, verdad? Echándole ganas, you know? We are biting the bullet, verdad? Estamos agarrando el toro por los cuernos, you know? Bite the bullet, okay? And that's intention over here. So I have to let you go, keep on practicing. 
si no terminaron el quiz, you know, if you didn't finish the quiz, que les compartí al principio, you can take it again. Lo pueden hacer una, dos, tres veces, ¿verdad? Eso siempre ayuda, ¿verdad? You know, to your brain, you know. It's, it's a cognitive conflict, ¿no? Un conflicto cognitivo, ¿no? What you have over there. All right? So, pretty much. So, thank you. Have a good night. And hope to see you tomorrow. And Mr. David Magaña, you take care of yourself, sir. Que se cuide ese señor. All right? Because you've been sick. So, have a good one. Have a good night. Everyone. Have a good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you.